Hi everyone, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. Today guys, I have another art supply haul. I bought this from Jerry's Artorama and a few items are from Amazon. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to start with these cute, small, little sketchbooks that I found from Jerry's. They're from Soho. It's an urban artist. There is 80 sheets, 65 pound weight. I think these are the cutest little books. Um, and I haven't opened it yet, so let's open this up and take a look. I love the color of these. Um, they're really pretty. That really sky blue is just really, really pretty. So these, I believe, were, I think they were six, six something, $6.95 has a nice little gummy to hold it so it opens up and the weight of the paper is really nice it is meant for dry media so um, very nice paper um, I'm really happy with these I like working small um, I always have so uh, when I saw these I said perfect um, and then I saw in the same line they had mixed media paper so, um, I thought, okay, I'll get me one of these, because this you can use your wet medium in, as soon as I can, can get this off. Um, this only has 40 sheets, because, of course, the paper is thicker, and it is 95 pound weight, and 200 GSM. The other one was... 100 GSM. So you open it up, and here is you know, it's just the same. Paper is a lot thicker, and um, it is not textured, but it's a nice paper, uh, you know, paper to do some little bit of wet media on. So I got those two from that set. I thought they're really cute. They, they have others, they have a black one, they have a silver one. Um, and I believe, no, it's a gray one, and then a yellow one. So, there's those. I did get me a watercolor journal. I had bought this before in a smaller, like, half size. Um, this is 25% uh, 20, cotton, 140 pound weight, and a 300 GSM. Very nice paper to watercolor on. I love that. Um, and then I saw this new Art Infinity Synthesis, <laughs> if I can say it. It's synthetic multimedia paper, 200 GSM, designed for watercolors, alcohol ink, acrylic paint, oil pastel, graphite, charcoal, silk screen. But what it said was, when you use this paper, it will make your watercolors more vibrant. So. I'm going to be testing that out also. Um, we'll find out if that's what that is. So um, I had to try that. So I got that. And then um, let's see. I'm going to try to separate these from the Amazon one first. So next was uh, I got the classic Jelly Roll um, archival ink in black. Um, I didn't, I don't have many black archival ink in pens. Um, I got the 0 0.3 millimeter. So I got those. And then um, Jerry's Artorama has a section where you can buy it and try it. And they're really, really good on the prices. So I bought some of their brushes. And this is the Black Swan by Creative Mark. And you get two, I don't know if you can see the tips. One is uh, a filbert, and the other one is more of a, just a liner uh, round. So I got those two. Also got this one by Creative Mark. This is a Mimic, um, a number two round. These were all really, really good priced. Um, like these two here uh, were, I think, $2.25 for the two. Um, and then these two came together, and I believe they were $1.75. Um, but I have bought these uh, Mimic brushes before for watercolor, and I love them. Very, very nice brushes. And then I bought these two were together. These were Best, best 
um, brand and this is a, uh, a Bushy Round and a Filbert Rake. So I thought I'd try those. And then this one is a Mimic Kalinske by Creative Mark and it is a, um, a number two round brush. So uh, I thought I'd give them a try, see how they work and see how well they do. And then, oh my goodness, this is something really, really neat. I got this um, pencil sharpener, and what it does, you can dial your um, length of your uh, wood on your pencil. So, let's say, like you're sharpening this pencil here. And if you want your wood to come back further and you have more of a longer lead, that will do this. And if you want it all the way up tight for like fine detail drawing, it'll do that. So I'm so anxious to try this um, uh, sharpener. So what I'm going to do, we're going to take it out and we're going to give it a try just to see if it does what it claims it does. So I believe there is... Right now it says close, so I'm going to open it to, let's open it to number th four and see how far back this will sharpen and we'll see how well it sharpens. Well, actually, um, you're supposed to turn the sharpener. I always have a habit of turning the pencil and you're not really supposed to turn the pencil, you're supposed to turn the sharpener. So let's have a look see. Okay, so there's that at number four. Okay, so we'll go all the way to number five. And let's see how far back it'll go. Maybe I'm doing it backwards. <laughs> Maybe number five is up close. I don't know. Let's just try it. I'll have to fool around with it a little bit. Okay, so there's the lead. That's how much it's showing. So I'm going to go try another pencil and let's just do all the way on number one. See what number one. Here's what the pencil lead looks like. Okay. Yeah, I, I can tell it's not doing hardly anything on number one. Yeah. Yeah, it's very tight. So you can see where the new and there's the old. I, I thought it was a nice little gadget, something new that I didn't have and may come in handy. I have gotten out of drawing a good bit, so I'd like to get back into drawing more. All right, next is I did get a um, mechanical pencil, and this is um, a Graphic Gear 500 mechanical drafting for very fine drawing. So I thought I'd try that, okay. And then, um, trying to find all the dry medium here first. Uh, the other buy it and try it was the Extra Fine Soft Pastel. And you get two of those, I think it was for $1.25 or $1.75 to try that out. But I thought these would be good on black paper to try. And I like the size of those too. Okay, now let's go to the wet medium. So I bought me some Turner ac acrylic wash. Uh, no, actually, acrylic wash, wash it's called. Um, so you get inside, of course it's written in a different language there. And on the side, it tells you all the colors. And here is the colors you get. You get permanent red, permanent scarlet, permanent yellow deep. Cadmium yellow light, fresh green, thalo green, turquoise blue, manganese blue, violet, burnt sienna, Mars black, and titanium white. Um, all not in that order. I guess it went this way. So I would like to try these. Um, I have the pans and the, the gouache, and I wanted some tubes to compare to see what I would like better. So there is that. Okay, um, the next is, I found these water brush pens by, I can never know how to say this, I think it's Sennelier 
or sun alert. I don't, I don't know. If, if you guys know, please tell me the correct way to say that. Um, I know it's a pretty top line um, art supply, but I did get a blue and a purple and a pinkish red. This is um, an iridescent. So I'm anxious to try these out. I believe these were almost five something each. Well, actually were five something. Um, they come in an array of colors, um, but I really wanted to try to see um, if I would like these or not. So I got those. Okay, and next was, okay. So I was looking through their website and I haven't bought anything there for a while. And I found these fashion spray, um, it's called fabric spray paint. But it says you can also use these on paper. So I thought these would be neat to use on uh, watercolor paper. So I only bought four colors and of course they come in a lot of colors. And the colors that I bought are, let me see if it's written on here. This is Tangerine. And this one is Flamingo. I'll turn them upside down so you can see. Um, this one is Plum. And then uh, the Caribbean. And let me turn them upside down so you guys can see the colors. They are so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, and that will also be on a day that I'm going to be testing these in a video so you guys can see what they do. Okay, and I'll test out all the other wet medium also in that video. Um, okay, and then, oh my goodness, there is a little speckling brush. And what this does, and I'll pick it out so you can get a better look at it. Let me see. Um, this is a little tool that you use. And I'm not sure how it works, so because I've never seen anything like this. Um, it says, just dip the brush section in color. Insert metal pick. Okay. So you're dipping this into your um, paint. Then there's a metal tip here on the side. It says, stick that there. Okay. Then it says, turn the metal handle. Create a whole galaxy of paint drop splatters by varying the distance from the canvas and consistency of paint. So as it goes through, it'll splatter. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. So you just hold this and just turn. See, here's what the whole thing looks like. So I'm just turning. So that'll be something else that I will be doing in the, uh, the video to demonstrate how that works. Okay, so the next little things I got, let me see, where are they at? Mm. All right, I got some more, um, I forgot about the pencils. I bought, finally, and I've been kind of waiting, and I bought just a couple of the Caran d'Ache Luminous pencils. Um, I bought just two because these are four dollars and something each. I wanted to try them. I wanted to, uh, to see how they work and how well they lay down on paper. So I did get um, this purplish red here and the yellow one is uh, it's more like a turquoise color. I don't know if you can see that. But that's what they look like and I want to try those. Um, these are very um, light fast. They said these are the best of the best. So I will try those. And then they also have another brand of Caran d'Ache that is Pablo. And these are a little bit cheaper. And I bought um, this Bordeaux red and this Azure blue to try. And these are only like $2.88 a piece. So there's those, and then I got um, a Derwent burnisher for um, burnishing your color pencils. 
and I will demonstrate how that works and what burnishing means um, and then also a blender um, uh, if you don't know what burnishing means when you're using your color pencils you're laying your colors down and you can burnish by uh, it is a, like taking this over top of what you just colored and you're uh, putting a um, it's kind of hard to explain it is almost like blending but that you're you're making it shiny at the same time I will have to show you um, how what I mean in the demo so um, and then there's the blender and then I got one more um, this is a graphite or a graphite tone very dark wash by Derwin it is an 8B um, and it is water soluble and they had it in different gradients, um, but I just picked a very dark one to use in my journals. So there's that. Okay, so um, the next thing is, um, oh, oh, I forgot about these. I have um, a small utility, a um, staple gun, so I needed um, refills, so I just bought two more. <laughs> Um, I have like a, an arrow, very small, um, so I got those, and they last like forever. You get a thousand staples in there. So the next is what I got from Amazon, and I wanted to share that I got gouache paper, and I did not even know they made gouache paper. This is acid-free. Um, it is also uh, a glued book. Um, it is cold press. And it is 300 GSM, very nice paper. So you open it up, and everything's glued here. And then the papers, they're very nice, and they're lightly textured also. And then the person that sold it um, sent me that little smile thing to color. I thought that was kind of neat, but it has their information on the back. And I'll, if I remember, I will link everything below. Um, but you can find everything on the website at Jerry's and then what I'm showing you now on Amazon. So I um, got another watercolor journal, 5x5 five five on Amazon. Reflections. I think I got this on Amazon. Oh, you know, maybe this might be Jerry's. Yeah, Creative Mark. That's a Jerry's brand. Um, I did get this at Jerry's. So you get 24 sheets in here and it's 300 G, uh, 300 grams and acid-free, cold press, soft white. So... Um, Accepts all wet media. I think these are nice little um, journals. I love the small. I love because it's easy to take with you and just go take your little watercolor set and go paint on site somewhere. Okay, so the next is an Amazon find. I wanted to show you this cute little pencil pouch that I got. So it has, um, it says here it's just special. You are one in a million, which I think that's cute. And then you open this up here and you have a side to slip in your, if you want to slip in your pencils or some small paint brushes. And then on this side, it has where you can put, it has some pouches to put like erasers, pencil sharpeners and that. And then the middle, so I'll keep this open this way. And then the middle opens up and it expands a little bit and then you can put all kinds of goodies in there for your art stuff so and it it holds a lot so here's all of what i just got and look look how much more room there is still in there so so nice very nice i really like this i like the color of it too and they had lots of choices to choose from with these and even the little zipper pulls are nice they're so nice and easy to hold on to and I think it's just a cute little pencil pouch and it's like a canvasy feel so there's that and then the very last thing whoo it's gonna be a long video I bought some premium watercolor sable paint brushes now this is how they came in this box and there's seven pieces here and they come with uh, a little bit of vellum paper around them. So I've opened it up already because I just had to take a peek. So you open it up and then the brushes are here. 
and there's different sizes here. You have, all right, uh, starting size, let me go from small to big. There is a number two round, then there is a number six, it goes to number six, two six, then an eight, then a ten, then it goes to a twelve, a fourteen, and a sixteen. And they are, they are all covered and protected in the plastic. They have the glue to hold them in place. You know, you swish with some water first to soften it up. You don't want to start painting with all that glue on there. That's just to protect the brush, keep it in its nice shape. Had really good reviews, and I thought I would give these a try. Um, I don't think they were that much. I think $16 maybe at the most. But it, it says it is Sable watercolor brushes. Um, sable hair. We uh, we'll see. It said um, that they don't shed or anything like that, and they held up very well. They had good snap, um, and the handles are very nice, lacquered, very nice to hold on to. So, okay, so that is my art supply haul. My goodness, um, and I will have another one coming up too. My birthday is coming up in May. And it is May 2nd, um, and I'm pretty sure I told my family that I wanted art supplies. So, um, anyway, that is the um, whew, the haul for today. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and so sorry it's been so long. Um, it's been a while. I've been really super busy, really trying to spring clean, get cleaned up. My, uh, if you would see my studio right now, you would think, oh my goodness. But I have a overflow covered porch that I have art, not art supplies, craft supplies out there. And I'm going through everything because everything needs a different home and it needs organized better. But I'm rambling now. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys so much for um, watching my videos. And for the new subscribers, I've seen I've got some new ones. And welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming and watching and commenting. And and I hope you enjoy my videos, everybody. Um, you are all so appreciated. So I want to say until next time, have a great weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.